Being Valentine's, um, just please just give us like a list of your favorite love songs, you know? Sure. <laughs> I think my number one, number one love song is a song that I heard, I can't remember how old I was, it must have been like 13 or something. That's all I'd ever ask. And why I love that song is because in that song, there's a line that says, tell me your dreams so they can be mine too. And I love that. I love the idea that if you're with somebody, it should be about that. If you're gonna be in a union with somebody and have that kind of relationship, that level of relationship, it needs to be about growing. Tell me where you're going and how you're growing and how I can add to that. And also hopefully you add to my journey too. So we share a journey together, we grow as people. So that at the end of it, we hopefully leave what I call a love legacy. Like in having been with me for five years, a year, five months, whatever it might have been, there must have been something that our love gave birth to. It must, you must have grown as a person, uh, gotten somewhere as a person, you know what I mean? Like, so that's why I love that song. It's such a beautifully written song as well. Um, so it's number one. Number one. <laughs> um, what would be my second love song? I'd say it's, it's an Adele song. Um, I'm trying to remember what the title of the song is. is it playing? So this is more like of your, your recent songs. Yeah, so it's, so it's a mix of, okay, yeah, recent songs. There's, a, there's one, oh, by the script as well, love it. The script is a band that if, for somebody who works on Kaya, people would be like, you do what? But yes, I listen to the script. And um, the words are, I'm going back to the corner where I first saw you. I'm going to sit on my sleeve. What camping chair, I'm not going to move. And it's just, I like that. You know when you can paint that, you can imagine a guy standing at the corner, waiting, for the girl that he once saw, and that's where they met, you know, and he's standing at the same exact place and hoping that she will come back again. <laughs> um, so I find it very cute, and it's a, it's a beautifully written song again. And it's also a song where the guy is, allows himself to be vulnerable. Sometimes love songs we're trying to be, we're trying too hard to be too cool. Mm. Do you get what I mean? Yes. Um, so I like songs like that where, because I know that sometimes I also struggle with vulnerability. So when somebody else is expressing it, I feel it on their behalf. I'm like, okay, let me go there. Let me go there. Let me go there. Um, what other songs would I... Phew, it's so difficult when it's just asked like that. Um, oh, Kenny Rogers, mm -hmm. uh, Dolly Parton. Mm -hmm. Any one of the songs that they sang together, the duets that they did together. It sounded beautiful. Mm -hmm. Again, they come from country music, which is a very narrative. They tell beautiful stories. Um, so I, I, I like that as well. Some of the songs, if you played it, I'd be like, yo, that song. <laughs> so it's a bit difficult for me to come up with them now, but yeah. Any Johnny Gill songs, seeing that he's in the country? My, 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 <laughs> my, my. Uh, yeah, I mean, a lot of his songs, that my, 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 <laughs> one of them. Um, you know, the funny thing about these songs is you grow up to them, or grow up with them. So you hear them playing in the background, but you never really, like, take time because we, you get involved. I was raised by hip-hop. Mm. I was raised, funny enough, I was raised by two, I think, genres of music in as much as I love country music. I was raised by hip hop and I was raised by, I don't know where you would throw your West Lives and the likes. Because at the time when boy I was- Boy bands. Boy bands. <laughs> you know, I wasn't like openly out there with the boy bands. <laughs> but I was there going, so I say a little prayer and hope my dreams will take me there, you know? <laughs> so so I, I grew up on that. I grew up on Jay-Z's music. Um, in, in a funny way, he was like a, a fatherly figure, weird as that might sound, because, you know, I think it's, it's, it's the story of us, of Africa. No, no, it's not the story of Africa. It's actually the story of men around the world. Sometimes we're absent fathers. Uh, a lot of the time we are. And we, the young people in that equation have to find their way th through this life thing. Um, and things like music and the arts are where we find our counsel. So we, that, that's how we do it. One last thing, mm -hmm. we're going to ask you, being the singer that you want, oh, Lord. to just deliver us um, South Africa's favorite um, <laughs> Vel going? Valentine song. <laughs> Which is what exactly? <laughs> <Speaso>. <laughs> you know, and the, just to say like, look, mm. and all, the, all the songs you counted were all like American. Mm. So I think it's just fitting, you know, on this day, because it's the only day in there that he gets played. <laughs> Actually, I'm gonna sing you a love song And I want you to know it's for real I want you to be true to me And our love will last forever I'm gonna sing you a love song There we have it, it's been our <laughs> 
hang out with Ugat Lejo. It's been fun, it's been crazy, it's been busy. It's also been a bit nostalgic as he took us back to Sviso's. You gotta sing it. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta sing it together. One, okay, two, I'll, I'll sing. I'll sing the verse. You sing the chorus. Okay. 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 Anytime now. Uh, but I, I found it so important that I write the song for you to remind me of the love <laughs> that you truly gave to me. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm gonna sing you a love song, and I want you to know it's for real. I want you to be true to me And our love will last forever <laughs> Happy Valentine's Day everybody <laughs> <laughs> <Take care. laughs>